Hello and welcome to this video in which I talk about question banks in Moodle. Uh, I'll be using Moodle 4.1 uh, in this demonstration. Uh, I think version 4.4 is, uh, is released, um, so the icons and buttons may change around, but the concepts of question banks uh, remains exactly the same. So for this demonstration, I've got uh, two categories set up, one called Moodle Training and a subcategory called Question Bank Demo. And you can see uh, Moodle Training category has got three courses uh, within it, and the Question Bank Demo has got two courses. Uh, one is called Alpha, the other one is called Beta, and those are the ones I'll be using in this demonstration video. So it's first worth having a look at the basics so categories contain courses and in those courses um, Moodle teachers can add a quiz and when they do add a quiz to a course behind the scenes Moodle sets up question banks empty question banks both at quiz level and at course level or quiz context and course context it's quite interesting here where that a quiz can use any question in a parent question bank. So in this instance, what we could do is add questions from the quiz context question bank and then add qu any question from the course context question bank as well. So let's have a look at this course context and quiz context question banks on a Moodle course. Here's my uh, Moodle course, I've simply called Beta, uh, and I do have another one called Alpha, which we'll have a look uh, a little bit later. But on Beta, I've got one quiz, so let's uh, click there. And in the navigation bar, you'll find a button called Question Bank. And in the Question Bank, I'm not interested in questions right now, I'm interested in question categories. And here what we can see is that Moodle has automatically set up two question categories when I uh, created the quiz itself and here is the one at quiz context and below it is the one at course context. The, the actual question bank is the link below it uh, which can be renamed it will initially be uh, in this instance uh, default for course beta and the one above it would be default for quiz B1 uh, but I've renamed it so we can use the explanations from the Moodle documentation where it refers to course context so I've clicked on course context and we can see that uh, there's one uh, question in that course context if I fl flip over to the quiz context then we can see one question uh, set in that also. So back to categories. And what you would have noticed is there's a link at the bottom that I've called natural world. This is a subcategory of the course context question bank. And you can create as many as you like. And you would do that by clicking the add category button and let's let's call this one history and make sure not in the quiz context but I want it in the course context and click add category and um, we can now move down here and we can see that there's a subcategory called history so any of my history questions would be uh, placed in there and the natural world questions in uh, in this at course context level. Back on the course page, uh, what I'd like to point out is in the navigation um, navigation bar, there's a more button, and if you click there, you can click question bank. So let's see what's in this question bank here. You'll notice that the course context is selected. However, there is no selection for the quiz context so at uh, on the course page it only allows you to see stuff in the course context however if I go back to the course into the quiz and choose the question bank here I can now select 
the quiz context and the course context. So there is a difference. Please note that using the question bank within the quiz and the question bank on the course, there is a difference. I'll quickly show you how to add uh, the questions from the question banks to the quiz. So um, select the quiz, click add question, and there's another add uh, button down here to, uh, to click on. So add question from question bank. And in this instance, what I'm going to do is select the quiz context and find the question, the only question in the quiz context for now, and click the button. And we can see here the question has been added to the quiz. I'm going to add another question from the question bank. And in this instance, I'm going to uh, get a question from the course context, not the quiz context. And here's a question about camels. And I'm going to click Add. And there we go. We've got two questions, one from the quiz context and one from the course context. Please note that if you change the context or move the question from one context to the other, it doesn't affect the quiz. Uh, if you want to delete a uh, question for whatever reason, you can use the trash icon and you will be re uh, just reminded whether you want to remove this or not. Just click yes and the, um, the camel question has been removed from this particular quiz. So the inspiration behind uh, creating this video was somebody came to me and asked the question, we've got multiple courses with each with quizzes involved all in one category. How could I see all the questions in all the quizzes? And that's quite a challenging question. And uh, I initially thought that that individual would have to be placed into every course as a Moodle teacher. Uh, but then I just thought about this uh, quote, a quiz can be used, can use any question from a parent question bank. So I looked at the Moodle documentation and lo and behold, you can actually have a question bank at category level, but it does need a bit of setting up by the Moodle administrator so we'll have a look at that in a moment. OK, I'm back on uh, course beta and I'm going to move over to course alpha. And here's course alpha, again a simple course, this time with two quizzes. And I'm going to enter the first quiz and look at the question bank. Uh, we have some questions down below and you can see that there's three questions from the course context. But uh, the difference on this course is that I've just had the Moodle administrator give me permissions uh, and set a question sharing role at category level. So if I turn to categories now, I should see there's the quiz context, there's the course context, and now you see I've got a category context as well currently with no questions in it. So what I'd like to do, I'd like to shift one of the questions uh, and I'll, let's go with this Moodle training question from the quiz context to the category context. So let's see how we do that. So I've just clicked on that question and here's, here's the question. I'm going to select with the select on the left hand side and click move to and then from the drop down, I'm going to click category context um, for this particular Moodle category of courses. So if I come back to categories and come to the category context level now, I can see that there's one question in there. And let's have a look at the question. So it's all about quiz context, funnily enough. And this now, because it's a category context of question banks, it should be available on the beta course. So let's have a look. I'm going to move over to the beta course. I'm going to go to the quiz and 
go to the question bank and now click category context for question demo and there it is so I could add that now to my quiz so uh, add a question let's click question okay so now click add from a question bank choose the category level quiz here's the question and add and there we go that there's the question from the category context question bank and that should be available or it is available on calls alpha and calls beta so that is really really useful before i wrap up this uh, video i'd just like to show you one more thing i'm going to go over to uh, course alpha and come to the question bank and you can see here that uh, each of the three questions are marked ready now if you're working with other teachers uh, you might like to be sharing questions and um, you can draft questions uh, and then each of the teachers makes sure that uh, the question is good. So if it's marked as draft, um, note over here though, the uh, question has already been used in a quiz. So let's have a look which quiz it's in. <coughs> That's the question and it's in quiz two. So if I cancel that, I want to go to quiz two. If I click on questions, I get this horrible error message, which is gobbledygook, really. It's uh, it's all about code and malarkey, and folk like you and me wouldn't understand and you think there's something gone wrong with the system. Uh, but it's all always worth going back to the question bank and checking whether the question is draft in a, the uh, a question in the quiz is draft. So click ready, come back to the quiz click the questions then and now we can see no error message and we can see the question in that uh, quiz so that's uh, that's a bit of a gotcha so just to sum up what we've learned already is that when you create a quiz on a Moodle course in the background Moodle creates two blank question banks one at quiz level and one at course level the Questions in course level can be used by any child quiz within the course. And then we discovered that there was a category context question bank. And we've discovered that questions in this category context question bank can be used on many courses, many quizzes within the category. So that's, uh, that's the big learning point for me. So how does the Moodle administrator create a custom role at category level. Well, they would navigate uh, to site administration, then users, and then manage roles. And then they need to select uh, the button saying add new role and give that role a name. And uh, on my Moodle thing, I called it question sharer. Uh, and then you need to add the permissions to the question sharer role and those permissions are shown here on the right hand side of the slide once you've done that you need to scroll down and click save and then you need to go to the category where you want the question sharers um, to be i.e. the category where those course their courses are so find the category click on the uh, gear icon and then click permissions there'll be a drop down selector um, you need to find assign roles in that drop down selector and then click the role and then add users to that role and please note that each of these users must have a teacher role in the associated courses so that's it on question banks and setups and everything. I hope you found it interesting and, more, uh, and even more so I hope you found it useful and it uh, help, helped you out with your Moodle. Anyway, thanks for listening. This is Mike and if you li liked it, please click the like button. Bye.